fun! My name's Bruni and this is my first ever Seven Days Left Celebrity. I'm gonna start that again. Hi everyone, I'm Bruni and this is my first ever Seven Days Seven Lives video. Woo! I am so excited and so honoured to be part of this channel and I cannot wait to start uploading and do lots of exciting things. So every single Tuesday I will be uploading, so make sure you're watching on Tuesdays. So I've been thinking a lot about what I could do for my first ever video. If you guys already know who I am and you've already seen some of my videos on my main channel, then you will know that I love beauty and fashion and most of my videos revolve around something to do with beauty and fashion or makeup. But I also have some really random videos on there as well, like tag videos, some challenge videos, and it's just a little bit of a mix of everything really. If you've never heard of me and you've never seen me before, then hi, my name's Bruni, and I thought it would be a really good idea to do a sort of get to know me video. So I'm going to do the 20 random facts about me tag. You'll probably think I'm a little bit insane by the end of the video, but hopefully you'll know me a little bit better. I have a really big obsession with mugs. I don't know why, I have my own cupboard at home that I have like stacked to the top full of my own mugs. I really want a tattoo, but I don't think I'll ever get one because I am not brave enough. If I was to get a tattoo, I'd probably get one here. And I actually want like a really big tattoo as well, not just like a tiny little one. I don't know what kind of tattoo, I don't know what I would get or what colour it would be or anything like that. But yeah, I really really want one. I think they look absolutely awesome on people, but I just don't, I don't think that I could ever, I don't think I'd ever be brave enough to go through with it. Now, as far as weird crushes go, you know, everyone has their weird crush. I, mine could probably beat all of you guys' crush. So, my weird crush is Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. Don't ask why. I have, I don't even know why. I can't even answer this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Every time I'm watching The Big Bang Theory, I'm like, oh. Sheldon. So yeah, if you guys have a weirder crush than that, then I would love to know little. I have a little sister called Molly and we get along so well. We hardly ever argue or fight and we're really close as sisters. But when I was younger, I was pretty mean to her. When she was about four and I would have been about nine, I told her that if she opened any cupboard or any door or drawer in the house, that it would set on fire and she would burn the house down and die and kill everyone. She wasn't too happy. She believed me, of course, and went to go tell my mum. I got into a lot of trouble for it. <laughs> I sound so evil. I had a crazy obsession with Lost. You know, the, the TV show Lost? I used to download the episode as it came, because it came out in America before England, so I'd download it at god knows what time in the morning to watch it before it came out in England. I would, um, I actually got into it whilst studying for my GCSEs, so cleverly I used to catch up on all the episodes and the seasons during my GCSE period rather than actually revise for my GCSEs. So yeah, that, that was clever. But oh no, it does not stop there. I subscribed to the um, magazine, the Lost magazine, that came out once a month. I had posters all over my wall of all the characters. I bought a Lost t-shirt that I actually wore out to different places. I wore it to the airport once and I remember walking around thinking I was really cool. I thought, <laughs> member of the Dharma Initiative. Oh my god. I wouldn't really say that I have a particular style. Um, it really depends what mood I'm in. Like one day I might be in a really, really girly girl mood and I wear lots of pink and like bright makeup and lots of jewellery and just be like really, really preppy. And then the next day I'll just be in like a, like a rock chick mood. I'll just wear loads of black, loads of grunge. I can't drive yet. And this really bugs me because my sister just passed her driving test and she is 18 and yeah, 
I haven't even had lessons and I really want to learn to drive because I want to travel and lots of my, well most of my friends now have a car and they can drive and I still haven't got around to it yet. So yeah, hopefully this time next year I'll have passed. I love dancing and I've been dancing since I was three years old and I've done absolutely everything from ballet to tap to jazz freestyle uh, to like the Argentinian tango. I've done all sorts of dancing and I love it. I've never travelled outside Europe but I would love to. I'd love to go travelling and see the world when I am older. I particularly like to visit Hong Kong, Australia and America. I'm really really bad at gaming um, I am not a gamer at all. Like I used to have PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 when I was little and I loved playing it. I think my favourite game was like Toy Story. Um, but no, I cannot play those like first person shooter games at all. I am so bad. When I was younger I used to be a little bit of a tomboy and I had one of the most embarrassing fashion moments ever. When I was about 10, um, there was a boy that I really liked and I thought that it would really impress him if I wore baggy trousers and my dad's t-shirt. I don't know what possessed me to think that wearing my dad's t-shirt would look cool. But yeah, he turned up and I had my dad's t-shirt on that went below my knees and probably about to here on me. Um, and now looking back, I, I just think, please God, I hope he doesn't remember that day. I am a real foodie. I love most types of food, but my favourite type of food would have to be cookie dough. I could eat cookie dough for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and I don't think that I would ever get sick of it. If you can make cookie dough, then we can get married. My favourite type of cookie dough is probably from Pizza Hut. I could never work in Pizza Hut because if I did, there would be no cookie dough left. I'd just be sat in the back just eating it all day. I am the world's worst procrastinator ever. I am one of those people that will have an exam in like a month's time and I'll think, I've got a whole month to revise, it's fine. It'll get down to a week. Oh, I've got seven days. Seven days, like, you don't need seven days to revise, that's fine. And it'll get to 24 hours and I'll think, oh, 24 hours, that's 24 hours, like, that's, that's ages. And then I'll start revising about 10 o'clock at night, the night before, and I'll be too tired. I'm a really bad cook. I could not cook if my life depended on it. I have managed to burn spaghetti hoops um, and soup, even soup. I have a boyfriend, his name is Darren, and we have been going out for four years now. We actually live in different cities, which is horrible. I really miss him. So far in my life, I have had one dog, two rabbits, four hamsters, and I don't even know how many goldfish. We always seem to have goldfish. So not many people know this, but I actually got through the first round of open auditions for the character of Luna Lovegood in Harry Potter. I look really young for my age. I am actually 23. Um, I don't think anyone has ever guessed my age correctly. They'd usually put me in like the 19 to 20 years old category. But if I'm still looking young when I'm 40, then I'll be happy. When I was younger, I lied that I could swim. When we were in year six, I would have been about 10 or 11, we started swimming lessons at school. And my best friend was an amazing swimmer. She had all these lessons and I wanted to be with her. We had a top group, a middle group, and a bottom group. And the teacher said, right, okay, everyone who can swim um, over 100 meters and who can dive in, get up and go and make your way over to the deep end of the pool. Now my friend, my best friend, she stood up and I thought, oh um, yeah that's me, I, I can do that, I can do that. And then the teacher then said, okay everyone, jump in. I don't think I'd ever been in the deep end before. So yeah, I was terrified. I jumped into the deep end and then my teacher proceeded to jump in after me, after I was flailing about, thinking I was going to die on the spot. She then pulled me out, put some armbands on me and told me to go and get into the shallow end of the pool whilst everyone else was watching. So that was my 20 random facts about me. I hope that you don't think I'm completely insane now and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!